story from around that that territory that time? Yeah, there are. Um, oh God, yeah, I do. Well, the Bourbon Street and that. Well, why I know that that, that, that I, I've got a. This is why I, well, I better get to this story quick because this story actually happened when I went back to the AWA. But it was at the Allstate Arena, which is, used to be the Rosemount Horizon in Chicago. Okay. And I'm, uh, I've been in the business now, what, a year or so? And uh, uh, they brought in uh, Larry Henning, Dusty Rhodes, Jerry Blackwell, Andre the Giant, and Bruiser Brody. And I'm sitting there in the locker room, and I'm going, okay, and then... I had, uh, actually, Vern had me wear my new General's jersey t-shirt, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, and uh, it was just John Nord, and uh, uh, and I'm looking around the locker room, and I look over there, and all these guys are taking this toilet paper, and they're wrapping it around their fingers, right, and they're sliding it off, like Pat, and they're putting it up their butt, like not up their butt, but just wedging it in their butt for like some type of hygiene. <laughs> um, but I guess, but, you know, I, I, I had never seen it before. And, but the thing that I notice is all the guys that are like 500 pounds are doing it. And so I'm thinking, what the hell? And uh, Dusty came up to me and goes, hey, Big Johnny, he says, do you, do you, do you know what a muffler is, brother? And I said, no. He goes, that's what we got here. We got a muffler. So they called it a muffler. And they put it, I guess it's for chai hygiene. I said, no. I said, no, I don't think I need one of them. <laughs> he says, uh, what's that for? He goes, it's for chafing, baby. It's for chafing. <laughs> and I go, I, know, I don't think I need one of them. Well, that night, I'm wrestling Rhodes at the Rosemount Horizon. And the finish of the match is me pile driving them. One, two, three, I win. And uh, I had never done a pile driver before, so I got my arms around, and, and I'm looking up at the uh, up at the locker room doors, and Vern is going, you know, like let's do it, let's go. And I got it, and I couldn't get my, I didn't know how to do it because I was trying to get my arms around his belly, yeah, instead of under his belly where I could grasp my hands to get him straight up and down. Uh, and I couldn't do it, so I started out, and at first I grabbed his tights, and they just stretched. You know, he didn't go up at all, and the crowd, hey, his ass is showing, you know, and I'm panicked. I'm going, how am I going to get this big son of a bitch up? <laughs> so I tried to horse him, and it didn't work. Now I'm panicking. I look over at the locker room door, and Vern is going, you know, like that. Yeah. So I panicked, and I grabbed his ass cheek, and I just dug in. Because, you know, he had no tights. All he had was the singlet, a loose singlet. The, I grabbed him in his lower ass cheek and his stomach, and I horsed him. But as I got him straight up and down, I pulled his ass cheek over, and his muffler fell out of the <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I looked down. I got him upside down, and I looked down at the muffler, and it's all different colors and yellow and brown. And, I'm, and I go... <laughs> I started getting gay. Next thing I know, the the, the audience is going, hey, you tamp, you're, you homo, you're tamp. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just said, I got I to gotta end this. And I was literally gagging. But right before I pile drive them, Dusty goes, Big Johnny, my muffler fell out. <laughs> so now I'm just laughing like this, and I just covered them one, two, 